Hi, welcome to the Runtime Error, the place where programming begins. In this video, we are going to discuss what needs to prepare for TCS Ninja interview. There are many students who get selected for TCS Ninja interview, but they are so much in confusion state that what we need to prepare and what not. Don't worry, in this video, we are going to discuss what we are going to prepare for CS background people, what needs to prepare for non-CS background people, and the most, most important point that is TCS Ninja mainly focuses on that are important HR questions. So I'm going to give you these HR questions as a bonus tips at the end of this video. So I highly recommend you to watch this video till end so that you can come across every single detailed thing before appearing to the TCS Ninja interview. So without further delay, let's get started. So before we see what we need to prepare for TCS Ninja interview, let me tell you that I have already shared my own TCS digital experience. So people who have got selected for TCS digital interview, they might watch this video so that they can come across what are the detailed things they need to prepare on or they need to work on before appearing to the TCS digital interview. So link of this video will be given in the description box so that you can access this video. So now let's discuss what are the three major areas TCS Ninja mainly focuses on. So the first, they mainly focuses on the basics computer fundamental. Second, they focus on most, most important thing that is HR questions. And the last one, the extracurricular activities you perform apart from your academics. So these are the three areas TCS Ninja interviews mainly focuses on. But hold on, don't need to worry about it. I'm going to tell you each and every section in detailed manner what we need to prepare and what not. So first, let's start with the CS background people. Now there might be a question that since TCS comes and belongs to the IT sectors, the CS people need to prepare a hell lot of things. No, we don't need to prepare every single thing. We just need to focus on four major assets. The first one is as usual data structures, then comes database. Oops, it is a common topic. Oops. And the last one is called an overview of the project. Now you might feel like, Pramod, you already mentioned every single thing regarding computer science. No. I haven't mentioned everything. Again, from these subjects, you need to prepare only some selected topics. Which are this? Let's see in detail. Let's first start with the data structures. What do we need to prepare in data structures? So first, we know that data structure is basically classified into two ways. That is linear data structure and non-linear data structure. You don't need to worry. Teachers does not mainly focus on advanced topics. So in linear topic, we need to focus on array, linked list, and stacks and queues. Do make sure you know every single working of these data structures, how they are implemented, what is their use, and what are their applications. And when you go to the non-linear data structures, don't focus from coding point of view, but make sure you are good enough with the conceptual point of view. For example, what is graph? How do we represent a graph? What is height of a tree? What is a balanced binary tree? What is binary tree? So these are the conceptual things that we need to focus on when it comes to the data structures. And the most, most important part, if you're preparing for data structure for any interview, that is its application of each and every single data structure. It is really important. They might ask you, what are the applications for linked list? What is the application of stack queues? So this is really, really important. Don't miss this topic. So this was all about the data structures needs to prepare for CS background people. Now let's move on to the next topic that is called a database. Now, database is a vast subject, but you need to focus best on selected topics. That is, first one, you need to know what do you mean by normalization, like 1NF, 2NF, 3NF, BCNF, what they are. You just need to tell these answering one or two sentences. Then come across acid properties. When I was giving my own thesis digital interview, this was the last second question they were asked. So acid properties are really, really important. And joins, as usual, they are part of the SQLs. It is highly recommended and most frequently asked question in any interview, especially in technical interview. So don't miss the joins as well. And the second is, don't miss any of the keys, such primary key, candidate key, unique key, foreign key. What are the difference in between these keys? So this is a must do topic for database as well. And the last one is called its aggregate function. There is very less properties or chances of asking aggregate functions. But I highly recommend you don't go without preparing aggregate functions. Basically, there are five aggregate functions. 
so don't skip it just for sake of knowledge or might be a possibilities they can ask this question prepare this so this was all about database section now let's move on to the oops now everyone knows that oops is a kind of a topic that any computer science interview might contain especially for the freshers so we don't need to skip this topic don't skip this topic there are the four major pillars of oops that is called as a encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and abstraction these are the must do topic for oops and most important point don't just prepare the oops in theoretical and conceptual way do remember the real life example of oops for each and every single four topics you must know what are the real life example right so this was all about the oops now let's go to the project overview now cs people have a project in their academy so we need to tell just a overview about that project now what we need to tell you just need to tell three things first what was your role in the project whether you developed a front end or back end second which technology you used to solve this project and the third one is which really important that is what problem you solved using your project so you just give a overview you. you don't need to go in depth because in depth of the project is mainly asked in tcs digital interview not in tcs ninja interview so this was the overview for the cs background people and i hope so they got the clear sense what we need to prepare and what not now let's move on to the non cs background people what we need to prepare and what not again for non cs background we need to focus is on three subject that is on data structure database and oops now like cs background people you don't need to prepare every single thing in detail but there are certain things that are much known for the non cs background people so what are this for data structures they have to focus especially on linear data structures like what are arrays linked lists stacks and queues what are their applications what is the difference between linked list and array and why do we need a data structures and the most important part for any interview if you are giving for the tcs or you might be any it sector company that is the application of data structures every single what is the application of array link list stack queue you don't need to you need to know about this for uh, non linear data structures like tree graph you don't need to know anything if you are belonging to the non cs background now let's move on to the database a database also you need to know some selected topics like uh, acid properties which are really important and there are only four properties that we need to remember then again joins as i told you earlier it is really important then comes a keys that you need to know all the keys and most important point that differences you need to know and aggregate function just need to sake of your understanding or knowledge you just keep on doing it there might be not asking this question but just for your sake of knowledge do prepare this question so this was the database for non cs background people that need so focus is on and the last one is called as oops as i told you that there will be no any cs interview uh, it sector interview that does not ask oops so there are four major pillars encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and abstraction that you should know and as i mentioned earlier not to prepare any oops topics without a real life example you must have must have a real life example in your oops concept so i hope so you come to know that every single thing belonging to the non cs background people what needs to focus and what not now once you have done this i would promise you that i'm going to tell you the most important hr questions that needs to focus is on so what are those first why do you need to join tcs second what about relocation third strength and weaknesses and the last one is where do you see yourself in next five years i have already made a complete playlist about these hr questions link for this playlist will be given in the description box i highly recommend you to watch this playlist so that you can come to know how to answer hr questions because for tcs ninja interview hr questions play a crucial role because they are asked frequently so do watch the playlist really well so that you can come across how to answer in non technical questions like hr questions so once you prepare all these things especially for cs background and non cs background people and then you come across this hr section and when you prepare all this i can guarantee this is that you are 100% ready for tcs ninja interview i can 100% guarantee you that because they will not ask anything apart from this it's my guarantee now i hope so this video made a big sense for you and i have added some extra knowledge in your dictionary so 
Just in case if you are new to the runtime error, do hit the subscribe button so that you can come across a daily updates on interviews, coding and many more things. Till then, have a happy coding.